Chapter 7 Arithmetic Operations and Circuits uh, Binary arith Arithmetic You use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. With addition, when the first sum exceeds 1, you carry a 1 over to the next more significant column, as shown here. This is 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, and 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. In addition, the general form is a0 plus b0 equals sigma0 or sum of 0, sum of the a plus b plus c out, which is the carry out. It's a summation uh, device. The carry out is added to the next more significant column as a carry in. And this is shown through this truth table. Is that is exactly how it was shown in the example prior to. You have your, in this example, you have adding two two-bit numbers, A1, A0, B1, B0. You add them together, you get your C in, your carry in, and your sigma follows, and then your carry out as well at uh, a 1 plus 1 value in either A1, B1, or C1. Subtraction, however, borrows values. It takes values such as this one. You have 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is equals zero. The only one that borrows is the zero minus one because its real value is negative one so it needs to borrow one to make up. The general form for this is a zero minus b zero equals r zero or remainder plus b out which is borrow out. And this is the truth table required for the subtraction of two binary digits in the least significant column. Here is an example of the same 2-bit subtraction. Instead of subtraction, and you have remainders, so you borrow to get your correct value. Multiplication, on the other hand, multiply, you multiply the 2 to the 0 bit of the multiplier times the multiplicand. You multiply the 2 to the 1 bit of the multiplier times the multiplicand. Shift the result one position to the left before writing it down. Then you repeat step two for the two by two bit of the multiplier. You take the sum of the parity products to get the final product. In division, it's the same as decimal division. We can see this through example 7-4. 7-4. Perform the following decimal divisions. Convert the original decimal numbers to binary and divide them. Compare answers. So for A, 9 divided by 3. Decimal format, 9 divided by 3. You have 3. You take away the 9 to get 0 remainder. The same thing goes for binary form. You convert 3 to binary as 0, 0, 1, 1. And 9 to binary is 1, 0, 0, 1. And you take away the exact same, which would be you have minus 1, 1 as the remainder. Take that away, take that away, and you get your 3. And the same examples go for 35 divided by 5, which is 7, and 135 divided by 15, which is 9, and 221 divided by 17, which is 13. The two complement representation. Both positive and negative numbers can be represented. Binary subtraction is simplified by this representation, and it's usually done in groups of eight. The most significant bit, or the MSB, signifies positive or negative sign. The sign bit, zero for positive or one for negative, is used in the twos complement representation. We can see this via table 7-3 as a two decimal to twos complement conversion. 
you have your decimal value here and your twos complement conversion. So you take your, your seven, which is zero, one, 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 and your twos complement, which is one. And you take the same thing with your two. Your two is all ones, and your one is the reverse, which is there. Two's complement, two decimal conversion. If a number is positive, convert directly. However, if the number is negative, complement entire two's complement number. Add one, then convert its to its decimal form. The result will be in a negative number. Using two's complement with addition is just like a regular binary addition. However, subtraction, you convert the number to be subtracted to a negative two's complement number, like a regular binary addition. And then the carryout of the MSB is ignored with this type of subtraction. In hexadecimal arithmet arithmetic uh, devices, a four bit four binary bits as a signal hexadecimal digit. In addition, you add the digits in decimal. If the sum is less than 16, you can convert to hexadecimal. If the sum is more than 16, you subtract 16, convert to hexadecimal, and carry one to the next more significant column. In subtraction, however, when you borrow, the borrower increases by 16. This is seen in this example. Subtract D7 minus A8 in hex. The 7 borrows from the D, which increases its value to 23. So 7 plus 16 equals 23, and 23 minus 8 equals 15, which is F. D becomes a C, and C minus A equals 12, minus 10 equals 2. BCD arithmetic. Group four binary digits to get combinations of four decimal digits. A range of valid numbers 000 to 1001 is available. Addition, add as regular binary numbers. If the sum is nine or less, it's okay. If the sum is greater than nine, or if carry out is generated, add six, zero, one, one, zero, saving any carry out. A basic area circuit is described in figure 7-5. This is a full adder circuit. You can have a half adder circuit as well. A half adder circuit versus a full adder circuit. Ha full adder is high when three inputs are odd. Uh, even is an even parity generator. And the C out is high when two inputs are high. And three ands and an or. This is shown here with your full adder taking those values and adding and the same here in figure 7-8 and your C out in this one is 1 for any two inputs high. Unlike this one, see your sigma 1 is one, one for odd number of high inputs. This describes the complete full adder. You have your C in bit and your A1 and B1. You're adding in and you're adding in your C in to get your full adding system. These are other representations of your half adder, your HA, and your full adder FA. Four bit full adders. Four bit full adders are in a single package. You can get them in the IC form, and you will add two four bit binary words plus one incoming carry. A fast look ahead carry. This type of carry evaluates four low order inputs. High order bits added at the same time. This eliminates waiting for propagation ripple. This type of adder is shown here by four different types of devices, the 7483, 
74283 and the 4008 uh, TTL or CMOS device. It's a 4 bit binary full adder with a fast carry. And this is an example of the fast look ahead carry that takes the carry and C out value, determining whether or not there's going to be a carry, uh, judging by what the inputs are. Some system design applications for these types of arithmetic operations. A two complement adder subtractor circuit shown in figure 7 21. This uses the 4008 to take in your 8 bit values, your inputs, and add them. And with the carry, it's able to take your output sum or remainder. And your BCD adder circuit is 7 22. Taking your BCD values and your basic adder, taking it to the correctional adder, checking its errors, and outputting its correct value. The ALU is a multi purpose device. This is the most common device in all microprocessing computers that takes in arithmetic operations and computes them for you. It has more operations than just add, subtract, multiply, but it obviously uses just add and subtract mostly to perform these functions. This is an example of an ALU. The 74181 has two inputs, A and input B, and it's function select, which determines what function it wishes to do, and it's F as output, and it has the carry in and carry out and mode controls. And these are the function set that it can do. With the mode select, it can do anything from logic functions, all 16, to arithmetic functions, another 16 types. So in summary of this chapter, chapter 7, arithmetic operations and circuits, the binary arithmetic function of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division can be performed by one bit by bit, using several of the same rules of regular base 10 arithmetic, uh, arithmetic operations. The two's complement representation of binary numbers is commonly used by computer systems for representing positive and negative numbers. The two's complement arithmetic simplifies the process of subtracting of binary numbers. Hexadecimal addition and subtraction is often required for determining computer memory space and locations. Binary adders can be built using simple combinational logic circuits. A half adder is required for full addition of the least significant bits, and a full adder is required for addition of more significant bits. Arithmetic logic units, ALUs, are multipurpose ICs capable of providing several different arithmetic logic